Hey guys, in this video, Chipper and I wanted to show you what we've been doing to build out our tracks in Ableton Live. I made a video not long ago, just a few days ago, about how we've been using uh, tracks from multitracks.com and loopcommunity.com um, to really supplement our worship, uh, our online worship services that we've been pre-recording uh, and streaming. And the thing is, I am not a great music producer. Um, I mean. I just I haven't, I haven't really invested that much time into like growing in that craft because I have my time spent elsewhere. Um, so to solve that problem, found that you can just hire new team members like <laughs> Chipper uh, that we have here. So Chipper, uh, this is actually a fun announcement. Chipper is our newest uh, team member on the church front team. He is he's not available. So sorry, ladies. <laughs> All like three of the ladies who watch this subscribe to this channel <laughs> out of the hundred, almost 100,000 dudes. Number two, he is a, uh, well, he's, he's a worship leader, leader. he's a great guy, um, and he just graduated from Vanguard University in California, and really his role on the church front team is he's going to be uh, an assistant worship leader at Mission Lakewood, so really overseeing a lot of the week-to-week -week planning and execution on um, everything to make worship possible at our church. And uh, one of the things I've been having him do is spend more time doing this production in Ableton Live to kind of build out our tracks. And uh, it's been awesome because I just didn't have time for it and he can just do it a whole lot better than I can. And the other thing that he's, he's gonna be responsible for on our team is reminding you to smash the like button on these videos. <laughs> So yes. let's go ahead. Totally. Let's go ahead then and kind of dive into what we we came here to show you guys today, and have kind of Chipper talk us through what his workflow has been like uh, for producing these tracks. Kind of showing us like how he's using Splice, how he's using Ableton samples and stuff like that. So you lead the way, man. I don't yeah, know, show, totally. show us, and I'll ask you totally. questions along the way. So first, I'll, I'll show you an example um, of an Ableton set that I set up actually just today. Um, this is for a couple weeks from now. Intro. Two, three, four. So all of these added tracks right here, as you can see right here, these are all tracks that I added to um, to make this a little more of a stripped down feel. So basically, what I do to find these samples that I like to use right here is I go to splice and then I you can search through all sorts of different kinds of samples so like there's crashes these are the ones that I've already chosen that I really like and those are the ones I've been using a lot but basically all these samples you can find either in here in Ableton or on a spli the splice app and all you gotta really do is just like drag them in and then line them up with your grid for where you want them to be. And then you can even like do a little bit of like um, editing to like how they sound. So you can like bring down the pitch or add reverb to a lot of stuff, which is like what I like to do. But yeah, um, but yeah it's, it's yeah. really quite simple. It's, it's, it's just finding what sounds good in samples and then just like adding it to the grid and to the, to the beat that like the song is at. So yeah. Splice is like this huge repository of samples. So people have actually recorded like the sound of a cymbal being hit and maybe some people are, have already added some effects to it or it sounds kind of weird. But then as a music producer, you can drag it into Ableton and easily then modify it with all of Ableton's plugins, like exactly how it's gonna sound. It probably, you can modify things that it won't even sound like at all, like the original sample you Absolutely, give yeah, you can, you can do as much or as little as you need to to whatever sample you want. So. Yeah, so when you're, you're just dragging and dropping file from Splice into Ableton and then at the end, you just go file, collect all, and save, or something to make yeah. sure it saves it, all those audio files. I was yeah, I was having a little bit of trouble recently this week just getting my samples to be saved into each project. But I've learned that if you do hit collect all and save, then it should collect all of your samples and save it with that project. So this kick, I'll show it really quick. I'm gonna solo it. So I really like that kick sound, um, and actually it is. Um, it's in Ableton, it's the 808 Thud is what it's called. That's the one I've been using a lot just because it's it's not super out there, it's a little bit more drawn back and a little bit more, um, there's just not a lot of tone on it, which is perfect for the the simple setting that we're in right now. Did you put any plugins on that track or is it just No, it's just, it's no. just 
it, I brought it in exactly the way it was and I just left it for that. So for this coming Sunday, a couple days from now, uh, we actually already pre-recorded our service, but we're doing the song, What a Beautiful Name. And you know, it's a song that has, you know, huge epic sound and we, you know, weren't able to find any other pre-made tracks that really worked for the sound we're going for. So again, we used a combination of the master tracks I have already purchased from uh, multitracks.com, but then we muted quite a few of those. Go expand that so we can see all what, yeah. what was muted and stuff. Uh, and then Chipper went in um, and then basically supplemented it with his own sound. So we muted the right. acoustic set, the electric guitars, kind of all the stuff I talked to you guys before, but just listen to the track he was able to make that just sounds so much better than anything I could have ever made. Chorus. It's really quite fun to like get into it a little bit too because because you can kind of make the sample sound the way you want it to and just be super creative with how you like are setting up the kick pattern and um, and just the, the, the drum loop as like a whole. It's just it's really fun to actually like make it the way you want it to. Yeah. And it helps like Chipper plays, he can play drums. So like he kind of, you understand like what beats are appropriate. Right? right, yeah. You can't like, especially when you're trying to utilize the existing like bass, bass tracks we already have, like you gotta kind of keep that stuff in sync too. Like you totally, can't, totally. you can't completely come up with a whole new uh, groove for the song. But yeah, I mean it helps when whoever your music producer is dropping tracks in here just gets how you would play that on a drum set or uh, in this case, it's all kind of like that electric ambient vibe where, you know, maybe we could get a, a drum trigger pad or something like that that Luke right. Luke could play for us. But yeah, I love this man. Um, and this is this just shows guys again like the reason why I just love Ableton Live. I think it's just the best music production software um, and playback software for churches out there is because it's not just a playback software. It's a, it is a true production software. Um, you can drag in these samples, create your own tracks, and then play it back in the same software. I don't know, it's just like really awesome uh, what it does. And if you guys want help, obviously getting up and running with Ableton Live, um, then check out worshipministryschool.com. That's where we have our whole lead worship with Ableton program. And I think after we've been doing this for like, you know, weeks, almost a month or so now, producing our own, our own tracks, and now that Chipper's here, I think I'm gonna have Chipper develop some sort of more in-depth step-by-step process or course for like how to actually create this stuff, even if you're, if you have, have no experience uh, with, with music production. Thanks, Chipper. Great to yeah. have you on the team, man. And uh, if you guys like this video, of course, smash that thumbs up button. Uh, check out Worship Ministry School and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.